a very warm welcome to everyone my name is abhishek singhal i am currently working as a doctor researcher at tampere university in finland and the topic of my today's presentation is design of municipal solid waste storage and collection system using google earth and google maps this is the work which i have done at indian institute of technology kharagpur in india under the supervision of professor brijesh dubey so this is the content of my presentation and i will start with the introduction so the solid waste management it's a universal issue it's affecting every single person in the world all together globally we are producing more than 2 billion tons of municipal solid waste every year which is expected to rise to 3.4 billions by the end of year 2050 at least 33% of this total waste is not managed in environmentally safely manner as a result we are seeing great garbage patches in the ocean illegal dumping and open burning of the garbage is a common practice in the developing and underdeveloped nation this waste is now also invaded into the forest ecosystem and our newest threat microplastics all of them are the result of poor solid waste management the major focus of my this study are underdeveloped nation and developing nation and my solutions which i am providing are basically for them so i will talk more about the waste management problems in these regions so when we are talking about the collection efficiencies in the region the average efficiency is just 48% in the urban areas while if you go outside these big cities in the smaller cities and the town is as low as 28% and this is the waste which eventually end up in the ocean and river ecosystem lying openly on the land or either burning openly so when i found about the problem the major problem behind this is improper design of waste storage and collection system after working with several municipalities in india in past 3 years there are few problems which are lacking which are consistent with every city so the first of them is the lack of data most of these cities they don't have any good waste composition data per capita waste generation rate and the density of the waste if you don't have such data you cannot design any system based on that second thing they are also struggling with the financial and resources and the workforce also the third thing very often they are busy, uh, they are missing basic knowledge about the solid waste management and the tools what they can use in research community it's very commonly known that we can use remote sensing and gis tools to improve the efficiency of waste collection and treatment system however people who are working in these urban local bodies it's difficult for them to use softwares like arcgis qgis and these software often require good computer system as well which they don't have so while designing the waste collection and treatment system for them there are few things which i kept in my mind the first thing is like i should be able to design a system based on as as low amount of data as possible with least amount of financial resources and of course i should use tools like this which are freely available and very easy to use like google earth and google maps which are thanks to technology are most of the people know how to use them so so the main objective of this study is to develop an integrated solid waste management plan using simple approach with basic data and just freely available remote sensing and gis tools so the study area of this study is the guwahati city which is the largest city in the northeastern part of india it has a population of more than a million right now which generates approximately 800 tons of municipal solid waste every day when we are talking about the composition of the waste generated in the guwahati city it's just like a typical indian city where the major major portion are the organics followed by plastics paper and cardboard uh, in waste collection system of the city there is a good door to door collection in the city which is uh, managed by local non government organization which are able to collect waste into the segregated form in the wet waste which are basically organics and the dry waste which is mixture of uh, recyclables and the inert waste however the biggest loophole of this this system is the secondary waste collection in that phase all the collected waste is mixed together in the bins 
which often overflowing which you, you can see in that image as well which is a result of poor selection of the bins and the management of the collection system now if the waste is mixed it's very difficult to treat now so all this waste is going to the dump site it just basically looks like this so the main agenda is to design secondary waste storage and collection system with least amount of data possible and also provide some flexibility to the primary waste collectors as well so the data which i used in this study is first density of the waste second per capita waste generation rate third the population data and the fourth one is how many people we can uh, uh, how many people will our secondary will secondary bin one will gonna serve so this uh, data we got from uh, from the guwahati municipality and, and uh, we know that around a 3 cubic meter bin serves approximately 1230 people so we use that in planning as well so while design, first thing what we did is calculated the bin size which is required which we calculated on the basis of the waste is generated density of the waste and by providing 50% extra space to avoid the overfilling so this is the size of the wet waste and the dry waste bin after that we have sketched the service area of the bin based on the waste data and the population density and we also calculated how many number of bins are required so this is how the bin plan looks like the colored regions which you are seeing they are basically the service area of the bin often they are their service area are combined so we can provide more flexibility to the primary waste collectors so they can collect their waste and decide where they want to empty their bin all these bins are placed alongside the major road so they are easy to collect during the secondary waste collection using the garbage compactor so this is how the bin plan look like for the whole division 6 next thing what we did here we sketched the route collection routes for vehicle routing we use the manual vehicle routing approach with google with google earth and google, using google maps so in routing the first thing what we did is uh, select a duration of collection in the morning the roads are basically empty we able to know that thanks to google maps historical traffic data so if you ever used it for traveling google maps you will know that this green line means so, uh, that there is very less traffic in these hours however in the afternoon there are some congested areas which we want to avoid so that's what we did we collected these uh, these area in the early in the morning and we provide the collection period between 5 am to 1 pm there are total six routes uh, which required around 15.6 hours so there are two trucks which are running parallelly and covering a distance of 38.42 kilometers this is this is how the routes look like they are starting from the garage and after collecting they will empty the empty at the transfer station and the next route will itself begin from the transfer station so after collection they will go to the another transfer station and similarly here as well so these are the routes for the truck first truck. similar approach was used for the second truck as well so that's how these uh, routes are look like so when we are talking about the benefits of the approach the first thing is like as i showed earlier that approach is very simple just done by basic mathematical calculations it's highly beneficial for the densely populated area because many of the old Indian cities and some part of the new cities as well, they are densely populated and not planned properly. So if you are using ArcGIS, QGIS in these area for developing a storage system, it may easily fail. So that approach will be specially useful for such areas. As uh, I told earlier, we use Google Maps and Google Earth, which are freely and easy to use softwares. And this approach will be really useful for the towns and city which are struggling with the data. And if we want to improve the efficiency of the system, we can use linear programming and multi-criteria decision modeling with Google Earth, even though it will increase the complexity of the system, but uh, it definitely will gonna improve, improve the efficiency. There are some, uh, there are limitation with every approach. So there are some with this as well. If you are using this approach for a large city, it will be laborious to use and uh, if you and uh, 
for vehicle routing, it required a careful supervision. Furthermore, if you have more number of transfer station and landfill, then you then it's really easily becomes very complicated to design a collection and transportation system. In that case, you should use multi-criteria decision modeling. I will end my presentation with this final note that we can develop an efficient waste collection and storage system using Google Earth and Google Maps, whose efficiency we can improve using route opt optimization and multi-criteria decision modeling. And if you are more interested to know how these Google Earth and Google Maps can be used in different waste management and the environmental studies, you can also look at some of our recent publications. So thank you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you.